today I wanted to show you how I recreated Bohemian Rhapsody scene. Um, there was one scene in the film where there was the sunglasses on the table and there's Freddie's reflection inside the sunglasses and I thought that was a really cool scene and I really loved the angle of it and the cinematography of it and I really wanted to redo it again myself. Bohemian Rhapsody is such an amazing movie. I don't think any words can do it justice because it's really really good and I enjoyed it so much I watched it twice in the theater and I second time I watched it I couldn't leave the theater because I was really really moved whether you're a Queen fan or not this movie is just really amazing and everything in it um, the cinematography the direction the acting is just incredible so I really recommend that you watch it so yeah let's get let's get right into it um, and then I'll show you how to do it um, and I'll just show you the setup of the whole thing so the lens I'm using is a Sony 50mm uh, 1.8 and it's mounted on my Sony a7s and so then I placed the sunglasses on a nice reflective glass table and I found these sunglasses that looked very similar at Cotton On so this is what the wide shot looked like so the main light source that I had was coming from the back window and also from the window at the side then after that I added some fairy lights in the background to get that nice bouquet round circles I put the shopping bag and I hanged the handle on top of the cat tree all that was left is for my talent to sit in front of the table so as for my camera settings, I had the shutter speed at 50. As for my aperture, I had it at 1.8, which is the widest you can go for my lens. And for my ISO, I kept it at 200. And this is what the photo looked like raw from the camera. So the next step was to put it in Lightroom and color correct it accordingly to the photo. Not necessary to copy exactly the, sa the same original photo, but to have the same feel and temperature to it. So yeah, this is what the final image looked like after editing. I also added a little bit of film grain on my photo because I wanted to have that kind of a rough look because it was way too smooth and it didn't match the original photo. And that's it. It's pretty simple. You don't really need uh, professional lighting or anything. If you have it, it would be great. But if you don't, just play around with it. You get yourself some cool shot and I think it's really, really cool. And also, don't forget to check out the movie. I really love it. And um, Merry Christmas and Happy Happy New Year and I'll see you soon in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and thank you so much for watching.